spelled just like the cute, fluffy animal, otter. <laughs> These are the otter dorks. They're weighted on one side, you can see. And so when you put these in the water, they'll stand upright, okay? And then you can see that there's um, the line that attaches it to the bow, but also the bridle here. And the bridle goes from the doors to the opening of the neck. And that has two sides, just like in your stain. It's got the lead line, the weighted side, that's going to be on the bottom, and then the float, which will be on the top. So with this outer door here and the bridle, it helps hold the float line up and the lead line stays down, okay? So it opens the mouth of the net. This is the mouth of the net here, then you get into the body of the net, and back here is what's known as the cod end, spelled like cod, C-O-D, and because that was traditionally and historically where all the cod fish got caught, okay? Now we'll empty our net by releasing the cod end and dumping them out onto the deck, okay? When we get when we get our all our bounty, okay? The numerous <laughs> fish that we get. Also attached to the fish, this is a float line. Now there's different different names for it, depends on the fisherman, whatever. We used to call this a dog line when I was fishing in New Zealand because it would attach to our release at the cod end. And so not only did we have the, the float to identify the end of the net, although we were just fishing so deep we couldn't see it, you know, but also if the net came up high enough and you couldn't pull the net into the boat, the winches weren't strong enough, you could yank the dog line and release the dogs because it was usually full of dogfish and the winches couldn't pull in at that many dogfish. And I have seen them have to do that one, which is amazing. Um, 